man, it has been a while since I've been on here. I've been dealing with some really nasty virus over the last five weeks, and it's been killing my ability to talk without sounding like my head is ready to pop off at any given moment. But I'm tired of waiting for it to go away, so I'm here. And to be honest, I've really missed the opportunities to be out, uh, be out there sharing knowledge to hopefully better your operations and your overall safety program. So this week, I wanna to talk to you all about a common concern we receive from clients regarding hearing conservation programs and individuals within that program who end up failing their annual hearing test. Obviously this is a big deal for several reasons, but one of them is the simple fact that each failed test shows up on your logs as an OSHA recordable case. Now, what I want to stress more than anything is the importance of adhering to this program and ensuring you as an employer are doing everything possible to enforce compliance with those team members that require hearing protection. The fact of the matter is, sometimes you have to force people to protect them from themselves. Now, on the other hand, we have individuals that care for their hearing in the workplace, but don't do so in their day-to-day -day lives. This means they could be exposing themselves to a number of different noise hazards outside of work. That come annual hearing exam time reflects a failed or decreased level of hearing. Far too often, employers feel as though they have to simply accept these failed tests, when in reality, there's much more they can do, especially if you're strongly enforcing your hearing conservation program and all protective measures that go along with that program. What many employers and safety managers don't realize is that you can get the opinion of a doctor or an audiologist to assess any employees that have failed the test to rule out whether or not it was personal or work-related. Now, let's have some real talk for a minute. If an employee is choosing to do things on their own time that damages their hearing, that is not your responsibility. And this is exactly why OSHA has issued letters of interpretation on this very issue, to let you know that you do in fact have the right to ensure these failed tests are not work-related issues. If that is found to be the case by a doctor or an audiologist, these failed tests do not go on your log as a recordable case. You do, however, document these findings, keep track of the incident and the medical results stating uh, that the work environment was not a contributor to this hearing loss. As a resource, I'm providing a link in the comment section of this video of the letter of interpretation I was referring to. Hopefully this enlightens many of you to the rights you have and the options you have available to you when this particular issue arises at your facility. And with that, I'm Jake Wolfenden with Summit Safety Group and I very much hope to see you next week as well. Have an awesome day.